2023 brought with it a plethora of new shows, and with that, of course, is a ton of new isekai. With each passing anime season, it becomes more and more apparent that isekai will not be going out of style anytime soon. Welcome back to Animeology. With the year soon coming to a close, we have decided to compile for you a list of some of the best new isekai. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 7, Handyman Saito in Another World. Who thought that being an underpaid handyman was your ticket to another world? Because Saito definitely didn't. After being fired from his only job, Saito was about to get killed via a runover, but he's mysteriously transported to another world. The story is unlike any isekai, as in this narrative the skills of a handyman are essential to any party, and Saito happens to be quite good at what he does. So, after he's reincarnated, he's met with a party that looks forward to Saito's assistance. <laughs> the narrative aims to take a break from an overpowered MC, as it's solely about Saito getting the recognition he never thought was possibly attainable. Throughout his time in the New World, he spent it all with his party, consisting of a knight, a fairy, and a mage. As for the show, it has the perfect blend of comedy and tension with excellent animation. You really can't go wrong with this one, as instead of being given random abilities, our MC focuses on utilizing what he had learned from his previous life. Number 6, My One Hit Kill Sister. Disappointment is the one emotion that no one endears to their heart, and we believe that no one has ever felt it more than Asahi Ikusaba. After being teleported to another world, our MC believes to have gotten the same overpowered abilities every other anime character gets. However, this couldn't be further from the truth, as when faced with the monster, he's shown to be very helpless. Realizing that he isn't anything special, he instinctively calls for his big sister, Maya. A summoning circle is formed, and Maya is summoned, easily ending the dragon's life with a single shot. This broke our loser, whose sister inherited the broken skill he so wanted, and thus, he has to come to terms with reality. The two siblings then joined hands to find a way back to their world as they enjoyed their new lives. However, the Demon King and his army are not stopping for these two. But little do they know that Maya happens to be the only one who's capable of giving them a run for their money. As the two continue to travel and learn more about the new world, unknowing of the threat that lies ahead. Number 5, Sweet Reincarnation. First the handyman, and now patissier. The variety never ends with new East Sky popping up. Here we have Mille Mortel, who was a genius patissier in his time before he eventually died in an accident. But fortunately, our protagonist was reincarnated as the eldest son of the impoverished Lord of the Frontier. This gave him the opportunity to be able to pursue his dream of making the world's best sweet after all. Although he continues to bake even in this life, our MC is given an S rank skill of being able to copy other skills. His father made sure to teach Mortelm the importance of knowing how to fight as he drilled the skill needed to execute one into our protagonist. Now, don't take our MC lightly, as he also improved the agricultural conditions for the sake of gaining enough ingredients to continue his baking, and as expected, the harvests were huge. However, soon it was revealed that 50 bandits were on their way to his town. This meant the end for the fields that Mortelm worked so hard. More determined than ever, he's ready to defend what's dear to him. Number 4, 
I'm in love with the villainess. Who doesn't want to live a life of their favorite dating sim? No one understands this better than Rei Ohashi. Although she worked an ordinary job, Rei was obsessed with the otome game called Revolution. She was known to have obsessively played the game every single day, and all was not as apparent as it had initially seemed. <laughs> After a long night, Rei fell asleep mid-game and found herself in the body of the protagonist, Taylor Rey. Understanding that she had reincarnated to another world, she hoped to alter the story and do things differently. Now in a fantasy world, the character that greets her is none other than the villainess, Claire Francois, and surprise surprise, she happens to be her favorite character. Without wasting any time, she confesses her love to Claire instead of going for any of the guys. Apparently, our protagonist is determined despite all of the warnings to have Claire all to herself. The only question that comes to mind would be the possibility of this new ship staying afloat. And most of all, will the bully that Claire is shown to be even take any of this well? Number 3. The Most Heretical Last Boss Queen From Villainess to Savior <laughs> Now, we understand that one otome game won't be enough to cut it, which is why here's an introduction to Pride Royal Ivy. Now, the story starts with a normal high school girl wanting to get back to her favorite game, but was killed by a truck in an accident. However, her soul was then reincarnated into the eight-year-old body of the villainess of her favorite game. As our protagonist does her best to understand the situation, she understands that she needs to ensure her survival. You see, the villainess was the final boss of the game and was quite frankly, a scum. Easily commits crimes that could get her beheaded while also enslaving her adopted brother in a soul-binding contract. And the list doesn't end because this diabolical creature also treated servants like trash and was overall a disgusting person. Although she was eventually killed by the protagonist. Our MC, on the other hand, doesn't wish to continue down that path, as she was reincarnated into the body before these acts were ever committed. So, naturally, she made use of her broken skills to set everything straight in hopes of becoming a kind ruler. Despite the challenges ahead, Pride establishes that her fate would not be the same fate the Pride from the game went through. Number 2. Monster But Wild Strength often comes from within, contrary to popular belief. Our hero Dong Dong went through a cycle of reincarnation, but Lady Luck wasn't smiling so brightly, which led to him being reborn as the weakest monster there is. Poor guy was so weak that even a slime would take him to Pound Town. Feeling hopeless, our MC soon makes up a plan and makes use of a few adventurers to get the EXP he needs to at least be able to beat a slime. As crafty as he may be, he's still nowhere near strong enough to be able to contend with higher monsters. However, he still contemplates becoming the strongest monster there is. But that dream is interrupted, as the same adventurers had called upon a high-ranking knight. This was done simply to get rid of the weird monster that had taken advantage of them. Will Dong Dong really get out of this in one piece, and can he truly find a way to return to his world? Number 1. The Great Cleric <laughs> After having a life that has just not been very giving to you, you too want compensation just like Lucielle. Our protagonist was an average salaryman struggling with life, and just when he was possibly going to get the fruit of his struggles, he was accidentally shot dead. <laughs> Just when all seemed lost, he was granted a second life in a fantasy world where magic dictates everything. Lucielle chose to be a healer in a world where healers were known to rip people off. 
However, just like any righteous hero, Luciel vows to act differently and is shown to have given free of cost healing services to many guild members. Furthermore, after he had failed to save Son through his godlike healing abilities, he was determined more than ever to do what he believed to be right. As he continued to have regular sparring sessions with the chief instructor of the Adventurers Guild, Broad. After gaining a reputable stature throughout the land of Galdardia as a selfless healer, our protagonist now plans on exploring what more this world has in store for him.